a video on um, using alternative fats in cakes. So I've done a video like this before and I used um, chicken fat instead of butter in the cake and it's very nice. Um, so and my idea was that kind of like why do we always use butter in cakes? Um, why don't we use like other fats? Because uh, like something like this, which is designed for baking, um, there's no flavour to it. There's flavour to butter, but there's no real kind of flavour to that. Like you wouldn't put that on your toast in the morning and think, mmm, that's delicious. It's not. So I was thinking we could use lard or we could use chicken fat in the case that I did. And it was very nice. Uh, you, you couldn't tell that it was a, an animal fat. It was just... But you can't tell that you use animal fat in something like a, a jam roly poly or mince uh, mince pies or, or or anything like that because those got suet in, which is beef fat. So you can't tell that there's there's an animal fat in those. So it kind of kind of really worked. And then I was kind of so there's well, so there's three things that we're going to do in this video. So I'm going to do a, a comparison. So I've just bought some um, lard. So uh, lard instead of the chicken fat that I had was particularly very nice because uh, it was homemade. Uh, but I've just bought some lard this time, and because no one's going to go to the, the, the trouble of making their own uh, animal fat um, or any animal fat that you would in a house would, would probably come from like a roast joint, so which would taste very meaty. But anyway, so I bought some I bought some lard, and we're going to do a comparison. We're going to do a whole uh, butter cake. We're going to do a whole lard cake, and then we're going to do a 50-50 split. Um, so that is half lard, half butter. I didn't make three separate batches. What I did was I made a lar larger batch of the butter one and a larger batch of the um, lard one. And then I took a third of each of those mixtures and I mixed that together to do the center cake. So that's my idea as well. And then also, because when you buy butter, butter is not a solid fat. It's butter, it's a, a it's um, fat and it's got some whey in it as well. So it's about, well, whey, not as in weight, but whey as in like, uh, like like you get from the cheese making process. Um, so it's that type of way, W-H-E-L. No, why? My spelling's terrible. Um, so there's some way in it. So the first time I made it, uh, the, the, the cake was a little bit um, fatty. Uh, so you could taste the, it was a bit greasy. So I kind of thought this time what we'll do is because butter's about 80% fat, 20% whey, in the lard version, I will cut down on the amount of um, lard that I put uh, lard into it. So I did a um, five egg cake mixture. So that would be, I'm working in ounces um, because that's uh, the way I make cakes instead of grams. So for, um, if I was using, for the butter version, it was five eggs, 10 ounces of butter. And then for the lard version, we did five eggs and eight ounces of butter because it's, that equals out at, at, at 20% uh, less fat in that one and uh, compensate for the whey. So if that makes sense, it makes sense to me. So lard is 100% a uh, fat, butter is 20% fat, no, 80% uh, uh, fat, yes. So uh, there's also a little bit different in texture as well. Um, so they, I did think that I'd have to add a little bit of liquid to the, um, the lard version, but it's kind of quite, it's kind of quite soft which is kind of quite interesting. Whereas the the butter version is going, it is soft, but it's just different kind of different kind of texture. And it looks like there's more um, cake mixture in that one compared to these two. But I just think that's the uh, excess liquid in the um, butter that's reacting with the self-raising flour. So those are my thoughts. So butter, lard, half butter, half lard. We'll see how they turn out. And then we're also gonna see I listened to something and someone said that you don't actually need to preheat your oven uh, when you're cooking something. So I think, well, let's not, pre the, the, let's not preheat the oven today. So uh, we'll turn the oven, we'll put the cakes in and then we'll turn the oven on. So we'll have, uh, we'll answer three questions uh, about the uh, greasiness of the chicken fat cake by cutting the amount of fat down. We'll answer that question. We'll answer the question of which um, can we well, essentially bulk out uh, butter with some uh, another animal fat and does the cold method of baking cakes work but there we go so we'll bake these then we'll let them cool down and then we'll cut into them and see what like right i think the cakes are ready so 
that one's the butter. That one's the lard and the butter. And that one's the lard. So they're all risen in slightly different ways. So I don't know what the reason is for that. We'll have to see. Maybe the lardy one needs um, a bit more liquid in it to help it um, raise a bit more. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So, um, which kind of would just why, wouldn't it? So there was, there wasn't a way in the lard. So maybe it needs that extra bit of liquid to make it rise just that little bit more. Even though it kind of felt like quite a loose batter. Anyway, we'll let them cool. We'll give them a taste. We'll see what it's like. Let's have a taste. So, butter one first. No, lard one first. It's just not risen as much. I think that is probably down to the, the liquid, the whey in the butter. But there we go, that's all right, isn't it? You know, if you just made a sponge cake and put jam and cream in that, I don't think you'd have to tell the difference. Right. Oh. That's okay. It's about the same. You can tell a taste difference. You can tell there's a, a taste difference. Ever so slightly. But putting them next to each other. Not really be able to tell. The larder one tastes more savoury in its flavour that makes sense well yeah mmm it just tastes more sa uh, savoury yeah, uh, uh, probably not the best word. And then the old butter one, which has risen a lot more. Some feelers. They feel a little bit, little bit greasy. This one doesn't feel just as much. That might be down to it's, it's risen slightly better, though. It's lighter. It's lighter with the old butter one. Mmm. Uh, you know, I think I prefer the half and half. It's got that crunch to it. It's got a better crust to it. I don't know why. Maybe that's down to the moisture in the butter that we didn't put in there. Yeah, that's gone crispy. Not as much on there. Okay. So, more questions. More questions. Probably need to do a another one like another all butter one and then another all lard one and then kind of compare and put extra liquid in the lard one to compensate for the way that's in the butter one mm. after tasting that one I can just taste the lard in that, I can just taste it. 
and it's only because you can you can do a comparison but if there was jam and cream in that one you'd never taste the lard okay so that's kind of quite interesting um i've just used bought cheap lard from the supermarket little i think it was so if I was to use my homemade lard or homemade chicken fat, I think it tastes taste a lot better. I think there's there's a certain flavour to the lard, like bought lard, which comes through in the cake. So if I was actually to use my own lard, it would taste nicer. So that's another experiment, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right, so... We need to do an experiment. We need to do it a, not the same experiment again because we've kind of answered the kind of questions, but we need to put some more moisture to compensate for the the whey that was in the um, butter. So it was ten ounces of butter, and it was eight ounces of lard. So we need to put in two ounces worth of liquid. So probably um, two ounces of milk, maybe. Um, and then kind of see, see or water. I don't think particularly water. I think milk. I think milk. And then we'll kind of do it again. But yeah, you can make cakes using cheap lard, and you can bulk it out a little bit. The price of butter's gone through the roof, so you can throw in a block of lard uh, in with like do half butter, half lard, and no one's going to be able to tell the difference with that. And if you were putting jam and cream in that cake, no one ever know. Hmm. Well we go. Well, my mouth will cake now. An interesting experiment, which has led us on to it's given us some answers and created more questions. But anyway, interesting all the same.